and welcome back to Clock Talk TV where today is a new week ladies and gentlemen please hit the like and the subscribe button turn the post notifications on if you're new here and today we are talking about Curtis Jones can he become the next Steven Gerrard it's a bold argument but personally if he carries on at the rate that he is he, he could easily eclipse what Gerrard ever did at Liverpool Gerrard, as we all know, a massive Liverpool legend, a legend that will go down in club folklore forever and ever, um, and a legend that I will literally just cherish forever for all what he did to the club. You know, he did slip, he did lose the Premier League title, but hopefully when he comes to manage Liverpool at some point in his managerial career, big up Rangers, he's absolutely doing a sensational job over there. Uh, but hopefully when he comes to Liverpool, he will keep the title, uh, just keep the title flowing back to Liverpool. You know, hopefully we have our 22nd, we our 23rd title. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But, you know, I know it's a bold argument saying Curtis Jones could get be the next Steven Gerrard because it's a, a big shoes to fill. But uh, he's in the right direction, ladies and gentlemen, and he could easy, he could eclipse it at some point over his career. Anyway, Curtis Jones is 19 years old. He's... he's He's attacking-minded player. He sometimes plays it more often, so plays in the midfield. But he can play on the left. He can play on the right. He's often gone in the middle on the eight position, usually on the left-hand side with Thiago on the right-hand side. He's all, he's found himself a regular starting position at this moment in time, purely because there's been a lot of injuries, and he's probably been our most consistent midfielder at this moment in time. Or you could probably argue our most consistent player. Um, he's been absolutely sensational the times he's come in over the last few months. Uh, obviously scoring a, a decisive goal in the Champions League against Ajax, sending us top of the group um, and sealing qualification to the knockout stages. But he's also got some big goals uh, elsewhere. He did score against Everton in a Merseyside derby last year. and I, wouldn't, I don't want to say a really good goal. It was, it was a decent goal, wasn't it? It's Joe! Oh, my word! What a goal! Scouser, he's bent one into the very top corner. Uh, but no, no, all jokes aside, he did join the uh, under 18s system when he was 15 uh, in 2016. He, in his time in the under 18s, he also got to work alongside Steven Gerrard, the future manager of Liverpool Football Club. Steven Gerrard highly rates Curtis Jones because every time Curtis Jones has. Uh, achieved something, Curtis, uh, Stephen Gerrard's always been there to congratulate him. And that just shows how highly Curtis Jones is rated in Stephen Gerrard's books. Uh, but yeah, Curtis Jones, on, on the big scale of things, he scores and contributes in every position he's played. Now, he did advance to the, the under-23 system in 2017-18 season and then contributed Klopp T decided to draft him into the Premier League setup in the season of 2019, where he got, uh, where he's currently got eight goals, two assists, and 1.5 shots per game on average. And he got handed his Premier League debut against Bournemouth in 2019. Now, obviously, there is no, um, there is a bit of irony to the fact that Curtis Jones wears the 17 jersey, which was Steven Gerrard's first number, uh, shirt number. Um, you know, but he's still got a lot, a long way to go for um, Curtis Jones. But I feel like if he carries on at the rate he is, I will 100% back that argument because he, he is just showing that it's, it's just harder and harder for Klopp to say, right, we need to give you a rest and we need to put Cater in, say. Uh, but if Keita gets a run of games, you might start to see Curtis Jones um, get get benched. And that would only push him more to, to, to bring more out of Curtis Jones. Because it's been evident that Klopp is trying to ease him in, which is similar to the process that Pep Guardiola did, as done with Phil Foden. He eased him into the setter, playing him 60, 70 minutes at a time, and then easing him in. So over time, he's given him more minutes every season. And the, the, the amount of appearances is exponential. He's growing in appearances. And that was the, the route of Phil Foden to the top. Now, I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that Phil Foden's on the same level as Curtis Jones. For me... Kurt, Phil Foden's miles ahead of uh, Curtis Jones at the moment. However, if Curtis Jones keeps improving at the rate he's improving at, and he catch, he can possibly catch them up if Liverpool win titles and win trophies. 
Now there's obviously a question with, look at the amount of money that's backed behind Manchester City. It's going to be a lot to compete with uh, when money's involved. You know, money's always going to win. And that's that's going to be the case with Manchester City. However, this this will always be a competitive position in the future for the England setup as well. Who will take that centre attacking um position in the future we've got you've got good contenders you've got Mason Mount you've got Phil Foden you've got uh, Curtis Jones but I feel that Curtis Jones's versatility as shown in the previous stat he can play on the left he can play on the right he can play in the attack he can play in midfield as well so why not why not try and ease him into maybe a different position to a company a company and establish Phil Foden in the setup as well as Curtis Jones. I'm not too sure, but I think I'm getting a little bit off point. But my point is to keep it related to the video. I believe that Curtis Jones is improving, and if he improves at the rate he's improving, he will do really well at Liverpool Football Club and become a legend at the club. That's for certain. Um, also, it is worth mentioning that next season they will be we will get more players back. Uh, which means Van Dijk and Gomez will come back in. That means Henderson and Fabinho will probably be pushed into the preferred positions in the midfield, which could mean that Curtis Jones probably doesn't get much of a look in, but he's staking a claim that he can be, be at that level and he can perform at the highest level. And it's going to be a really big headache for Jurgen Klopp next season if he does stay, which I think he will, but if he does stay... Uh, it will be a massive headache because Curtis Jones is just performing on all all scales. It's all about consistency. If Curtis Jones can keep this consistent form up, then we we will be challenging for titles next season. There's no doubt about it. We will be challenging for whatever trophies that we want to, um, you know, go far in and succeed. I fully believe that. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Turn the post notifications on. Hope you like this little different. Uh, mix up of the style there'll be a there'll be a video on l5 star fc later so go and check that out it's a match reaction i did have a watch along on yesterday on this channel uh so the highlights and all that is on the channel for you to go and see thank you again for 150 subscribers chelsea this week leave your comments down below who's winning for this one um i'll be doing a watch along for that one as well but thank you for watching this set this one ladies and gentlemen i'll see you all soon over and out, you'll never walk alone.